I look at this card and my mouth starts to... Making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 211 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Sean Park. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one-on-one -on -one action. And Michael, it sounds to me like this crowd already picked the one who they want to win this match. Welcome to Balor Club. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Finn Balor is in action, and I can see a lot of Balor Club members here tonight. Byron, could you do me a favor and point them out? I just want to know who to avoid after the show tonight. What grace! Float over into the DDT! The same move over and over. This is relentless. Drives the fist down. Things not looking great for Finn Balor. I fully expect him to bounce back, Oof. though. This is the type of one on one atmosphere where he thrives. Guys, I was in the locker room when the latest rankings were released, and I can tell you that a lot of people were shaking their heads over this superstar's ranking. Finn Balor is in position. Finn Balor, this is all but over. I'm not sure how much he has left. Finn Balor can draw the curtains on this one. I don't know why anybody would be shaking their head over the superstar's ranking, Corey. It's been one impressive performance after another. If you ask me, it's well-deserved. I completely agree, Michael, and I wouldn't put too much stock in what Corey was saying anyway. He tends to hang with a pretty simple crowd these days. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Big move coming. And he hits with a diving assault. He's really looking to prove a point. 
kick out at two. So resourceful. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. That's how you tear a muscle, guys. Here he goes. You got to think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going longer than necessary. Slightest hit of weakness in the other. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from 1995. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a good idea to do some mid ring push ups. And as you were saying, the decision ultimately came back to haunt him. Got him good with the elbow there. <laughs> He's in trouble. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, and a terrific reversal. Fight one move after the other. It's devastating. But he's running up. He's going for the pin. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on. Let's go. True testament to Grant. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. Takes him down in a major way, too. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go for it and miss, that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. And Finn Balor slips out of harm's way. Extraordinary elusivity. It's like he tapped into some unseen energy source. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. Swinging neck breaker. Slips out of harm's way. Extraordinary elusivity. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to. He's looking at it. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Almost knocked silly by that strike. Oh, hanging off for dear life. Oh, alley-oop power bomb. That might be it. Take requests. We're tuning up the band. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, and it's a reversal. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. Warm up the bus. This one is over. Finn Balor going high risk. Things are not looking very good right now. Going to have to find a way to regroup. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical. 
vertical suplex. He might, that's a brutal way to have to land on the canvas. Things are about as bad as they could possibly. He leaves no doubt right there. Oh boy, he is rolling. We've seen this. Amazing move right there, guys. That's what he was looking for, Michael. He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. Expected nothing less, Cole. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Bauer looking to end it. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. This one's over, guys. This is Finn Balor's match now. This is where Finn Balor's at home. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. His signature slam. And now Finn Balor heads up. Balor looking to end it. Cody Ross. Finn Balor never... Look at this. And he got a near fall out of it. Wow, I thought this was over. He gets it with a reversal. Oh, this is dangerous right here. He's looking at it. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. Look at Finn Balor making his moves. 19, 16. Here's his moment, Michael. Despite having an impressive spot in this week's power rankings, I'm t here's the cover. One, two, three. And you could put this singles match in the books. No doubt that was a match people will be telling their kids about for years to come. Here's another look. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Here is your winner, Finn Balor! Big win here to start the show. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing. The following contest is a no disqualifications match and is for the Intercontinental Championship.
Introducing the challenger from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe oh. we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Oh, and a bumpy landing. Okada roll. Backslide out of nowhere. And the champ kicks out. Too early in the match to end it. Amazing athleticism right there. Oh, look at this power. Boom! Oh, oh, oh man! Lion Salt! We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see that again here tonight. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. He lands a jarring forearm. Not looking good for the champ here. He's really going to need to create some space for himself. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. Speaking of champions, heading into matches a bit overconfident, one of the most glaring examples of that would have to be the Honky Talk Man's attitude heading into his Intercontinental Championship defense at SummerSlam 1988. We all know... We got a cover. Didn't have to dig very deep to kick out of that one. What a kick out. He's making a statement here with this attack. Wow, he just slammed him with ease. Believe it or not, fellas, some people are speculating whether the champ should have to take the gold. Some are calling inferior competition here tonight. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. When this guy's on, look out. Corey, I think you're just trying to drum up controversy. I haven't heard any whispers about the champion having to defend against Jericho. There it is. It's locked in. The walls. Nobody does it quite like him. There it is. The pop, pop, pop. The champion into the cover. It's going to take more than that to keep him down. It's going to take more than that. Uh, oh, I think this man needs business. I can't believe it, Michael. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. The champion into the cover! This guy's a competitor. He's not going down yet. Nope. To beat the Ayatollah of rock and roll up, that's not going to do it. Oh, he's such a tough target. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. The finisher could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. He's just so dominant. Come on, baby! Ooh, Chris. Wow, what a move by Chris Jericho. It's like sweeping an opponent under the carpet. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Somebody get the hose. This guy's on fire. He can turn it on in a hurry. Come on, baby! Here's Chris Jericho. He's got it. Walls of Jericho. Locked in. That should do it.
Wow, I thought he was a goner. Big move coming. Wait for it. <laughs> That's a There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? And he got a near fall out of it. Wow, that'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. That's a good way to find yourself on the list of Jericho. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Oh, my, what a slam. Look out, a jarring neck breaker. That's a good way to find yourself on the list, Jericho. No question, he's feeling invincible right now. Oh boy, he is rolling. It's safe to say he had his opponent well scouted there. Brilliant analysis, Saxton. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Takes him down in a major way, too. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Down to the floor. How embarrassing for him. Bringing it back between the ropes. Well executed. That's a good way to find yourself on the list of Jericho. And that's twice now. Shoulders down, this could be it. And he got a near fall out of it. I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. He can turn it on in a hurry. This one's about heart and determination. The will to win and leave here tonight as the Intercontinental Champion. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. Look at this. This could do it. Two, three. Chris Jericho did it. Chris Jericho got a huge win. We got our money's worth with that one. Take a look. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. Here's a legendary your performance. And the new Intercontinental Champion, Chris Jericho. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. Yeah. Oh, boy. Open your ears, Michael Cole. Things are about to get... One of the all-time greats and a shirt fire Hall of Famer.
The human embodiment of the phrase, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. It does not get any bigger than Rey Mysterio. saying the champion has never looked better, but that doesn't mean we can't see an upset here tonight. talking earlier about the champ being a heavy favorite here tonight. I couldn't help but think back to the night Santino Morella defeated Umaga for the Intercontinental Championship in 2007. I don't think there was a person alive who thought Santino had even a sliver of hope. Yeah, including Santino himself. But hey, as the old saying goes, anything can happen in the WWE. As we say in the trade, guys, the monitor area in the locker room is likely sold out for this. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needs that in the worst way, Michael. There it is. What a move. What acrobatics. Just an unforgiving slam. To Byron's point, there are several competitors on the roster who can make a case for being the next in line for a title opportunity. However, a lot of that, of course, depends on the outcome of this match here tonight. So with that in mind, regardless of their personal feelings, you'd have to think the locker room is rooting for the champion here tonight. The last thing they want to do is to have to wait even longer while the champ's rematch clause kicks in. And a monstrous splash. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. He looks incredibly motivated, though. Don't expect him to be down for long. Guys, a lot of people are predicting a new champion here tonight. Even a poll on WWE.com earlier today predicted we'd have a new champ. But at the risk of being a downer, I'll believe it when I see it. The challenger's taking on some offense. As the number one contender, you can bet he's the envy of so many in the locker room. It might be time for him to recharge that battle. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. Can he finish the job? Corey, I have to disagree with your earlier comment. Out with the mask, going for the big one. Out below, that body flying through the air lands like a bomb. This is all but over. And he stops the count. Face buster. He's making a statement here with this attack. Look at the quickness by Wyatt. Goes down hard. Looking for an opening for that. Looking for all the glory here. And the shoulder's up in time. It's going to take more than that. No, he reverses it.
He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it as Byron. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. But he's got to capitalize now. Tell me, just how much strength does carrying your opponent around like this take? Let's put it this way, Cole. Saxton would never be able to do it. Guys, a loss here for the champion would be incredibly embarrassing, especially considering all the trash talking I'm told that's been going on behind the scenes. I don't want to reveal my sources, but let's just say there's been some pretty harsh words being tossed around. Challenger not in a great place. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. Man, I knew this was going to be a closely fought battle, but I didn't realize it was going to be this close. This is unreal. We may have discovered his favorite move. Wow, what a move. Is the second time enough to end this match? A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. The win. He's calling for it. Big. He's inflicting some serious pain here. I'm not sure how much he has left. Oh man, can Matt Hardy recover from this? He's in a precarious position for sure. in off the tag. That's a great example of teamwork right there. Oh boy, he is rolling. Ah. Uh, there's the backbreaker, guys. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. And there's his speed paying off. Counter here. Oh boy, he is rolling. The challenger looking absolutely exhausted in there. The number one contender might have just reached the point of no return. He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. He knows he's in trouble. Champ not looking good right now. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. This could be trouble, guys. His opponent has finally found an opening, and he doesn't look... Oh, I think this man means business. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Oh, man, can Matt Hardy recover from this? He's in a precarious position for sure. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Targeting the back now. Tag Team Championship at stake. Which team wants it more? A frightening attack on the jaw. Oh, he dodges out of the way. Oh, no. And a first DDT. He's going for it all. He's in trouble. He's clo close to being done here. Rey Mysterio looking for something big. Avoids trouble there. Nice job 
getting out of the way of that. Oh boy, he is rolling. He delivers a hard close up. The champ in defensive mode here. He's always ready for a fight and has seen his fair share of wars in WWE. This championship match is just another day at the office. This is not the time to be a hero. To keep this match from slipping away, he needs to get his partner in there and take a break. And Rey Mysterio says, not this time. He wants no part of the outside. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Tag Team Championship up for grabs. Which team wants it more? That was impressive, Cole. Oh boy, he is rolling. Here he goes. That landed perfectly. That should do it. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Incoming. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Oh boy, he is rolling. The drop kick hits the target. Tagged in. Team championship at stake. Which team wants it more? Twist the face! Can he finish him off the shoulders down? Championship on the line! Three! What a tag team display. I can't remember a tag team match in recent memory that was even close to as good as that one was. Here are your winners. And new SmackDown Tag Team in Matt Hardy. And Bray Wyatt, the deleters of worlds. Big win here to start the show. When you put these two together, victory is really...
Here comes the Queen. And her partner. And here we go. This oh, tag man. team match is going to be heated, to say the least. And whichever team wins this match here tonight Ouch. can absolutely make an argument for being one of WWE's top teams. saying this superstar has begun showing a bit of arrogance since the latest weekly rankings were released. But the way I see it, that's just confidence. Taken out with a Russian leg sweep. Looking to twist her like a pretzel here. And here we go now. She lands an enormous elbow. There certainly is a fine line between arrogance and confidence, as Byron was saying, but whatever it is, I have no problem with it. This superstar has been on an absolute roll as of late. And who really cares if somebody's being arrogant? As the old saying goes, if you got it, flaunt it. And this superstar certainly has it. Second time to charm. Normally, we hear plenty of debates surrounding the weekly power rankings, but this week, it seems both fans and superstars alike agree with how everything shook out. And it's McVicky James with a mick kick. Oscar needs a miracle. Penny in predicament. Kick out at two. Whoa, that may have been a slow count. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she could take. Yeah, not too much debate over the rankings this week, though. I will say that some people from the Superstars camp think it could have been just a little more favorable. You can't please everybody, Saxton. These are the same people who would win the lottery and then complain about having to pay taxes. Come on. Going for the arm. The point of that elbow delivers. You gotta think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going longer than necessary. No! She breaks it! Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. Double team. A hip toss. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you, bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from 1995. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a good idea to do some mid-ring push-ups. As you were saying, the decision ultimately... And it's Mickey James making a move. DDT! Incredible! Charlotte is in trouble. You're not gonna get her that easy. She's still in this one. It's always nice when you see a superstar who's clearly been putting the work in get recognized with an impressive spot in the weekly rankings as this competitor did this past week. And here comes Charlotte. Oh, straight 
forearm. Well, Michael, while the rankings this past week certainly were impressive, I can only imagine the heights this superstar can climb to. Come on, Charlotte, big move coming. Look at her go. Oh, this is not good at all. Much more of this, and she could be facing a torn ligament. I sure hope there's some sort of investigation going on right now behind the... There's a pin now. She's not done yet. Uh-uh. Charlotte sure dodged that one. She did indeed. Hey, pour cold water on your conspiracy theory, Corey. But I don't see any objection to this superstar's ranking at all, and I think most people would agree. Am I right, Byron? Your best bet is to just stop listening to things that come out of Corey's mouth. Here comes Alexa Bliss. Driven back down to the mat with unbelievable power. Charlotte is in trouble. And it's Charlotte with the reversal. There's a reason why she's genetically superior. Two. Russian leg sweep. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. Four. Oh, this is not good at all. She's playing with fire here. Yeah, she's got to hurry up and get back in there. Focusing her attention on the body here. Alexa Bliss looking stymied. Her and her partner making it a great tag team. We'll see what they're made of here. If she's not careful here, she might just let her opponent back. Oh, come on. Don't have it end like this. Introducing the challenger from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 190 pounds, Chris Danger. Chad Gable, big opportunity here tonight. And introducing the challenger. And introducing the champion, residing in Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, he is the United States Champion, The Miz.
I look for Chad Gable to kick things off with incredible offense. Gable's trademarks include submission holds, airstrikes, and devastating German suplexes. The unpredictability of a triple oh, threat match makes this almost impossible to predict. Any one of these three could walk out of here the winner. Chad Gable has superior resilience. Just when you think the Olympian is down for good, Gable finds a second win. Gable prides himself on his endurance and versatility as a competitor, Saxon. And he does whatever it takes to finish the job. Guys, in the title, he's got the shoulders down. And the champ kicks out too soon. Done. Circling back to your earlier point, Corey, you have to think Nerz will play a big part in this match, which I think favors the champion, especially considering how many times the champ's been in. He goes for the cover. Gable quickly getting the shoulder up. Gonna take more than that. The challenger's starting to falter. At this point, it's all about how he responds and potentially rebounds. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he oh. still has plenty of fight left in him. Walking around the city earlier today, guys, the only thing anybody was talking about was this title match. Everywhere I went, from the coffee shop to the bookstore, everybody was talking about this match. Oh, the reversal by The Miz. The Miz looking a little stunned here. He's a true champion. I suspect he has plenty of fight left in him. Byron, I had a similar experience as you this morning. Nearly every person at the gym I went to was talking about this title match, and rightfully so. This is an absolutely huge match. Okay, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. Byron spent the morning at the bookstore while you, Cole, went to the gym. Man, that's brilliant. You guys have any other jokes? The Miz showing how A-listers do things out there. Wow, I thought he was a goner. The end may be near. There's no recovery from that. This could be it. His shoulders are down. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. And the champ kicks out. Oh, boy, he is rolling. That was a great tack. Chad Gable going for the cover. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. He can withstand a lot more punishment, I can promise you that. Great effort, but he better save something for later in the match. Look at this. delivers the snap DDT, and that should do it. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. You're going to want to see your internist after a slam like that. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He might have it. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. This could be it. He's inflicting some serious pain here. The Miz getting out clapped. That's just great execution. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, a knee right to the face. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. Wow. I'm Can he score the pin? What a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put themselves through.
The intensity of this has been... Figure four leg lock. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. Locked, locked in. Wow, what a gritty performance. He breaks it. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm with you, Cole. So unbelievable that he broke out of that. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Here he goes. When this guy's on, look out. The Miz with a nice reversal. What a brutal beating we've seen just out so far here tonight. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Two, and the champ kicks out. Yeah, somehow The Miz finds a way to stay alive despite being battered and broken down. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Another slam here. He's clearly on a mission here. We might be looking at a new champ here. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's got him covered. Two! A kick out, and he almost had him. Wow, it looked like The Miz was about to go on the Z-list, but he mans up and survives. Do you guys take requests? We're tuning up the band. Well, there's some showing off. The Miz getting out. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Two. Three. three. Has been the pinfall. And the victory. Let's take another look at these guys in action. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. And the again. New United States Champion, Chris Danger. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. There's two things I've come to learn about Baron Corbin. He doesn't like people, and he... Locked the doors! Hide your kids! The Hide one your of wife! Fringe is in the house! And introducing the challenger from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 200. I think 
And introducing the champion from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the WWE Champion. He is the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. Participants winning this thing. And now he goes for it a second time. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Back now inside the ring, bringing it back between the ropes. Challenger starting to slow down a bit here. It'll be interesting to see how he responds here in this four-way environment. And I guarantee you the other three guys see the predicament he's in and are thinking of ways to capitalize on it. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Wow, can't believe Dean Ambrose got out of that one. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Ambrose starting to struggle now. Call me crazy, but this might be one of those rare instances where the champion actually enters the match as the underdog. I know it sounds odd, but it really seems like the champ is up against a heavy end here. Incredible impact on that slam. Right to the face. Oh, a sliding elbow like a bullet. You're not crazy, Byron. The champ certainly has an uphill battle here. And while it's rare, we have seen the challenger head into the match as the heavy favorite. Bruno San Martino challenging Stan Stasiak in 1970. Three immediately comes to mind, as does Diesel. Squaring off against Bob Backlund in 1994. Wait, did you really just say that Saxton is not crazy, Cole? Man, just when I started to think you might be all right, you go and say something ridiculous like that. If you ask me, fellas, nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Cole, me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Back in from the floor. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. Baron Corbin is getting ready here. So damaging. Can he finish the job? Baron Corbin just... Oh, look at this! Baron Corbin under the cover! Like you, Corey, have had this championship match on my radar for quite some time. And so far, I think it's safe to say that it hasn't disappointed. No, it definitely hasn't, Michael, which is... Saying something, considering fans' expectations heading into tonight, I can tell you that they saw this as a potential match of the year candidate. And so far, I think it's delivered. Back in the ring again. So much power behind that punch. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. Uh, Seth Rollins looking to put this one to an end. Seth getting it done. If Rollins can keep his emotions in check. He can figure out a way to take this. Nicely timed shot by Baron Corbin. Seth Rollins is in position. Oh, super kick! We might have a new champion here, guys. His drop kick connects, and that one drops him. Somebody's on a mission tonight. 
He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. He's one of those guys that gets going and it's hard to stop him. There's got to be some point in the match where those thoughts start to creep in that it could be over. And then you got to dig down deep, get rid of the self-doubt, and continue on toward victory. He's bringing it back inside the ring. Right to the ring. Oh, on that. The champ's in a bat. Here's the cover for the win. Two. And the champ kicks out. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Look out, Baron Corbin is measuring. Baron Corbin can't be enjoying this. Looks like he's pinpointing the back. Seth Rollins is looking for something big here. But can he hit it, guys? Make no mistake about it, Seth Rollins is in trouble here. Gets out of the way of that one. Nope, reverses it. Fireman's carry. This doesn't look good, Corey. Couldn't agree more, Cole. This has got trouble written all over it. He drops the elbow on him. Success breeds success, and he's definitely having some right now. Look at this. And he lands the big boot. He's going for the pin. One, two. What is keeping this competitor going? Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. We're gonna lock it in here. He broke that up. Cole, how in the world did he find the energy to do that? Back between the ropes. Oh no. Oh, no. This is his opportunity. To he goes for the cover. Two. Gets the shoulder up before three. Not yet. The champion into the cover. One. from Baron Corbin. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, an uppercut. That'll cross some teeth. What's gonna happen here? Oh, a breaker. You're not going to win any fight away free. Wow. That was just pure determination, Cole. Quick thinking to avoid that one. And look at hung up by the second. He's got him in a tough spot. Baron Corbin is giving the crowd a show, but he needs to make sure he understands what really matters. He wants no part of the outside. And one reversal from Baron Corbin. Lightning fast reflexes. He delivers the side slam. Now the off, we may have discovered his favorite move. He's making a statement here with this attack. Look out, he breaks free. Great job by him there, but he's still in a tough spot, Cole. It's about the prestigious world title. That's why these men are putting their bodies, their careers on the line tonight. He's in big trouble. The world title. That's wow, he escapes it. He's just got no quit in him here tonight, Cole. He got him good with a neck breaker. Cover here. One, two, and an air fall. Wow.
Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. When this guy's on, look out. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. This might be the end for the champion into the cover. Here it is. Has been Randy eliminated. These gentlemen get after it. Here are the highlights. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Here is your winner, and still WWE Champion. He is the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. And that's a win to start off the night. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main... Champion versus champion contest. The time for talk is over. We'll find out who the best is in the ring right now. I am so excited this moment is finally here. The only thing that would make this match more enjoyable to watch would be if I was calling it without you two bozos interrupting me. That could break a nose. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Receiving a ranking like the one this superstar did this past week has to be such an amazing motivator. Now let's see if he equates it to another victory here tonight. Ooh, what an upper cut. Russian leg sweep. The champ's on the defensive now. Many see him as one of the greatest champions of this era. Tonight is his chance to prove it. I know it's somewhat oh, early still, but and he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. On the flip side of what Byron was saying earlier, we've seen superstars relax a bit after being slotted high in the rankings. And that, of course, is the last thing you want to do in a situation like this. Well, I don't think we have to worry about that with this superstar, Cole. Some competitor. Spinebuster on the pine! And a pin attempt. And the champ kicks out. Yeah, seem to be just testing the water.
waters a bit there. He might have it. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. The champ starting to feel the pressure a bit. It appears his opponent has his number right now. That confidence he had in his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. Anytime is Roman with Superman punch! I think this is the beginning of the end. The champion into the cover! Digging deep for a kick out! Still a lot more fight left. What's Roman Reigns putting together here? Reflexes. He's in trouble. Seems he's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. Oh no. Looking a little out of it up on that turnbuckle. Oh, this could very well be the beginning of the afraid to think what's going to happen next. The finisher could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying, but it's not a guarantee. Sometimes it takes two or even three to get the job done, and even then, it's not a sure bet. A la Randy Savage versus the Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 7. That's my favorite match of all time. Randy Savage landed an amazing five top rope elbow drops, but was still unable to put Warrior away. And you know what? He probably could have hit him with five more. There was just no stopping the Warrior on that night. When this guy's on, look out. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it's... We know what's coming here! Oh, like being manhandled by a bear. The champ's in a real bad place right now. He's got the shoulders down. And the champ kicks out. There is no quit in this man tonight. Oh, Roman Reigns unable to be contained. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they gotta take it. He's looking for the win. Pedigree! Whoop, the shoulders are down. And the champ kicks out. He needs to change something fast, guys. Just going for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. Roman Reigns can be a little over the top sometimes, but it definitely works for him. The challenger not looking good right now. And you have to wonder how much the challenger can sustain at this point. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now. Spear! Cut him in half! Looks like another victory for the champ, Michael. He could pin his opponent. controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. What's Roman Reigns putting together here? You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. There is no toppling the Roman Empire tonight. This is exactly what Roman Reigns needed. All the momentum on the side of Reigns. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Two. And he manages 
to get the shoulder up. Not yet. Uh-oh, we know what's coming next. We're about to see it. He hits him with a face buster. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. One, two. And he got a near fall out of it. Wow, if you want to beat Roman Reigns, you've got to finish the job. No quit in that superstar. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. What's wrong? Superman punch! Good night! Now it's... Uh, he's got him covered. Two! What? Oh, he kicked out. Unbelievable! Not yet. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, he dodges out of the way. Championship. Here's a cover. One, two. Real close. Too close for cover. Roman Reigns just powering out of that pin attempt. Looking for the finish. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Inside the ring now. Looking at it. This one's over, guys. Shoulders on the mat. One, two. Oh, how resilient was that? I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Roman Reigns just too fast for him. What's Roman Reigns putting together here? making a statement here with this attack. Set it up! And he hits a vicious neck breaker. This 
superstar looking to put this thing away. If an opponent exhibits a weakness for a specific move, some will return to utilizing that move as long as possible. But can he follow up here? Three! Yes! Unreal performance. How about another look at some of the highlights? That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here is your winner and the new WWE Universal Champion, T.G. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action.